you know a Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddie. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. I'm praying that those prints come through. So I hey. Can that son of a bitch. We're in the vice squad now. We've moved up. We're out of traffic. Get moving, Phelps. I'm working on it, dude. Type. Oh, I forgot this, uh, my partner's name here. 50 bucks? Do they think I'm made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. Oh, looks like we got a convertible now. Oh, that's sweet. I just don't know how to damn the Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You'd better come and get me. <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, all right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a brush fire. <laughs> There's a little sneak. Freddie. You're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Be careful. He likes guns. How do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Let's go visit this Cruz character. 50 he likes guns. <laughs> Crazy. All right. You call these grip? So we're gonna get in a gunfight right off the bat. I like this convertible. This thing's solid. Just like my other car, it turns like a garbage truck, but other than that, it's great. You believe a story? Sure. A Look at like Freddie would raffle his sister for his next score. Here we are. Oh no. Call for help. I'll find my way in. Well, this looks ominous. I don't like my chances here. Whoa, lost my hat. Ouch. Can I jump this fence? Are you trying to get yourself killed? There we go. Cover, you lunatic. Re 
Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Got him. Thank goodness my partner can shoot. That was sloppy. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. Freaking Tommy guns. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and well, the rest of the story tells itself. Except for my very clean suit that doesn't have any bullet holes. Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Same case. Spanish. I don't know what the hell that is. Parnells. Does anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Yeah, I don't think they're delivering soup. Just me, though. Seems irrelevant. Seems pretty relevant. Someone was shooting at me. Lots of soup. What's this? Nope. <laughs> nope. Maybe these are the guys keeping one so well stocked with soup. 20th century market. All right. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, Detective. Only one address listed: sixty three ten Fountain Avenue. Thanks for your help. I don't think so. Okay. Sp English Spanish dictionary is not important. Is this? Uh, okay. Fine art. Doesn't look like anything. Oh, you can get in this one. Can't get in that one. Chicken coop. Interesting. Whoops. Now we're getting somewhere. I chose wisely on that one. That was a total guess. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? You even With keep a ledger. Dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Johanna. 
This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. Dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Yeah, let's take one of these cans here. Yeah. You burn open. You hungry or something, Phelps? Hmm. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. <laughs> Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Very well packaged suit. Maybe we should search Juan before they cart his body off. See what made him so trigger happy. Good idea. Find anything interesting? Things out of circulation. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. I think we've done what we're gonna do here. Let's, uh, let's head to the market. This little pig went to the market. Or, no, let's hit the soup factory. Yep, soup factory first. Crother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. Been no comeback from Cohen as yet. And the Confidential Magazine is right. Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot tempered son of a bitch. Pretty right. fancy soup building. Let's see if we can find out who's been over seasoning the soup in this place. Good one, Cole. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please. If you must. I think we must. Don't trust him. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. <laughs> Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. Oh, she's... sassy. What is going on? LAPD. Sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Trying. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on it. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. Whoa. <laughs> My guy couldn't even... <laughs> he got distracted. Any name on that list that rings a bell?
This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. He's lying. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Good grief. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. Uh, he may be telling the truth, but we're still gonna doubt it. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on? I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. Oh. Uh, <clears> hmm. <throat> Let's maybe look at some intuition on this one. Okay. I was going to pick truth, so I'm glad the majority thinks the same. Let's do it. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. Great. Tour the soup factory. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. Yeah, similar. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. Why don't you keep quiet? I learned something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. <laughs> this is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. This is one of our dispatch... Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there, on the desk. That's a nice shiny coin you got there, buddy. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. It brings me luck. Mm. Do you have access to the canning area? 
I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Right. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here it gets sent all over the country. Okay. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. Like this 20th century market? What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. Juan Garcia Cruz is dead, Lunkhead. His brother works here nights. What can you tell us, Sergio? I'm just a dispatcher. Juan was crazy. Who don't love guns? That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're going to let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. <laughs> All right. Something tells me we'll be back to the soup factory. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. He's partner's not a fan of the uh, tomato soup. Apparently, I can't walk through doors either. Okay. How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? If you ask Roas how much a silver dollar is worth, he'll probably say 50 cents. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. All right, let's bust this joint. LAPD, nobody move. I'll take my chances. No, uh -oh, he's runner. Got a runner. I haven't gotten a fist fight in a while. Oh, I already know. Game. Oh! I ain't scared of you. I always get the clothesline guy. Oh! 
Oh, not doing good. Give him that one. Ooh. Ouch. Nice one, Cole. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. <laughs> yeah, we know what that is. Come on. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. <laughs> that was a look. Start talking, Erto. I want the names of everyone involved. What difference does it make what I tell you? I'm still going to jail, no? Oh, great. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular. As you can see. Oh, Jesus. The real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Mm, let's use some intuition. I would need to get this one right. <sighs> okay. I felt he was telling the truth, too. Just want to be sure. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. You've got this one chance to cooperate, Erto. Give me your delivery, boys. Or you'll do every year that we were saving for them. All right. I... There's a shipment coming in tonight. To the soup factory. Parnell's Soup Factory, 1 a.m. Ernesto will be there. We should get some backup and stake out the cannery tonight. Hopefully no more Thompsons. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let him unload the goods first. Mm. 
Now, let's get them. Everyone into position. Got your back. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Go, Phil. Get in there. Surrender now or I will... Who the hell is this shooting? I can't see anyone else. There's a bunch of them over there. Another one down. Where are these other cats? Last dude, I think, is above me somewhere. Yeah, thanks. I think I shot them all. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. want an address, we should see what the Federales have on them. Ernesto. Another silver dollar. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Holy shit. At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Hmm. Okay, where's the rest of the dudes that I shot? No, here's one. Here's a big fat wad of cash. Must be a thousand dollars here. Yet another silver dollar. Or hate. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. 
The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I'll show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. Oh, here's the K thing. Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Put them together. Can you work out what it says? No, put it back. One more. No, wrong one. The first coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesanke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. Yeah, agreed. I've already killed, like, ten people. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. It's your priority, straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Locked. We need another way in. Took a two ra few rounds there. Hauling balls, dude. Oh, stay down. You're clear. Go. Victor. 
Mr. Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. What is going on? Roy, you got some splaining to do. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the breasts and the mom ads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Great. Bunch of crooked cops. All right, how did we do? Ooh, distinguished. Solid. Look, guys, I damaged no vehicles, no city property damage and injuries. Yeah, I'm perfect, flawless, I'm telling you. That's because the game crashed, really, probably, most likely. Anyways, we got all the clues this time. First time ever on that. Got seven of the nine questions correct. Yeah, all in all, good case. Uh, we got through that one. Uh, I took a lot of rounds. I will say that. Please uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue on in the Vice Squad now.